how to drop ship products from Timu to the Shopify. Today, I'll be walking you through the exact steps you need to follow, helping you avoid common pitfalls, and showing you how to approach this process in a smart and profitable way. So let's get started. First, it's very important to note that Temu does not provide any official support for dropshipping. That means there's no built-in system or integration to automate the process. Because of this, you'll need to rely on manual methods to make it work properly. Also, make sure to completely avoid using any Temu dropshipping apps you might come across online. To begin, the first thing you'll want to do is set up your Shopify store. Choose a specific niche for your store, something like home decor, pet supplies, or any other focused category that has strong market demand. Once you've picked your niche and set up your store, you'll move on to the next step. Now, go over to the app section from your Shopify dashboard. From there, click on the Shopify app store. This is where we'll install the tool that helps us manage our manual dropshipping process. Once inside the app store, we're going to search for and install the Zers app. So open up the Zers listing and click on the install button. This will begin the installation process and integrate the app with your Shopify store. Once the Zers app has been added, the next step is to start looking for products on Timu that you can sell. When browsing Timu, focus on finding products that offer fast shipping. Now coming back to the Zers app, once you've clicked to install it, it will begin downloading and integrating into your order management system within Shopify. At this point, the app will ask whether you'd like to create a new account or register. So what I'm going to do here is select the option to create a new account. After clicking that, you'll be taken to the account creation screen, where you just need to fill out a few basic details. This process is fairly quick and doesn't take much time. Once the registration is complete, the app will begin to authenticate your store and account information. After successful verification, the Zers dashboard will open and bring you directly to the general pricing section, where you can begin setting your product prices and exploring the platform's features. I'm going to go ahead and select the free basic plan for now, just to get started without any upfront cost. Once that's done, the Zers dashboard will automatically redirect us to the general supplier section. At this point, you'll be prompted to link a supplier to your Zers account. Currently, Zers gives you the option to connect AliExpress as a supplier. But if you've already created an account on Zers, the better option is to use the Zers Chrome extension. It really makes the whole process much easier. Now, let me explain what the Zers Chrome extension does. This extension allows you to browse products directly on Temu and then quickly import product details, such as the title, images, description, and more, straight into your Shopify store. It simplifies the product listing process tremendously. Here's how it works. Head over to Temu's website, and once you're on a product page, for example, let's say we're looking at a Burla jewelry item, you simply click on the Zers Chrome extension from your browser toolbar. Before doing this, make sure that you're logged into your Zers account, because the extension needs to be connected to your account to function properly. Once logged in, the extension will automatically recognize the product page you're on, and you'll get the option to import that product directly into your Shopify backend. That includes product titles, images, descriptions, everything you need to start selling. After the product is imported, you can adjust the pricing inside your Zers dashboard. A good pricing strategy is to take the Temu product cost, add the shipping charges, then add a 30% profit margin, and finally include any applicable Shopify transaction or platform fees. So let's say the product on Timu costs you $7. A reasonable selling price would be around $15. This way you're covering your costs and still earning a decent margin per sale. Now, when an order comes through on your Shopify store, here's what you do. You go to Timu, add the same product to your cart manually, use your customer's shipping address at checkout, and pay using your own card. Temu does not include invoices or receipts in the package, which makes it relatively safe for dropshipping. Also, you can manually add Temu's tracking number into your Shopify order page to keep your customer informed about their order status. A quick heads up, Temu's shipping times can sometimes be slow, depending on the product and location. That's why you should stick to items that clearly show fast shipping, 
preferably with a 10-day delivery guarantee. Always double-check delivery expectations before listing anything. When it comes to returns or refunds, you'll have to handle those yourself. Since you're acting as the middleman, it's a good idea to offer a refund in case of issues, especially if you're working with low-cost, high-margin items, where the occasional return won't significantly hurt your profits. Temu dropshipping can be a very lucrative opportunity if approached with patience and strategy. Start small, test a few products to see what works, and once you find winning items, you can scale your store from there. And that's how you can become a successful dropshipper using Temu manually. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful guides just like this. Also, if you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'm always happy to create more content for you. That's all from me for today, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.